it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. So what I'm going to kind of talk about today is very long overdue. I've been meaning to talk about it for a while. Um, my Friedrich's Ataxia diagnosis story. I'm going to go through my whole life and how FA was always evident even though we didn't know it. So if you're new here, you're about to find out a lot about me. <laughs> Most of my viewers are people that know me, know somebody with FA, um, know me by association, that kind of thing, and so they know what I'm facing. But if you don't know me, you're about to find out a lot about me. And people that do know me, you're probably going to learn some stuff too. <laughs> my actual diagnosis story is all over my social medias. It's on my website. Um, so if you guys want to look at that, I'll put links below. In this video, I'm not really going to talk a lot about what FA is for time sake. So I'll put links below also to where you can read a little bit about FA. So let's get started. Sorry, I have notes over here. So if you see me looking down, that's why. Because I don't want to get too far off track. So when I was little, I didn't really have a lot of coordination, but neither did my grandmother. And so my parents and everybody else would always say, oh, she has her genes. She doesn't have good coordination. It was, it was a joke. So things like learning to ride a bike, that took me forever to do. And I hated doing it. It made me nervous every time I got on it because I didn't have good balance because of FA, but I didn't know that at the time. In gymnastics, could never do the balance beam. I could not do it. I would get on it and then as soon as they said, lift a leg or jump, I, I couldn't do it. Um, and then like jump rope, it took me a really long time to learn how to do that. And even once I could, I was never that good at it. I didn't love doing it. But nobody in my family was that athletic. Ray just said I got the bad end of the stick. I can't talked about this in a video before. My cousin's perspective on FA. I'll link that somewhere. Um, when I was in third grade, I was diagnosed with a heart condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. At the time, it was a huge deal to me because I was eight years old. And my doctors were telling me, you have to drop out of dance, gymnastics. I had to stop doing everything that I loved for this heart condition, which is a symptom of FA. Fast forward several years, um, going through middle school, I um, was not that coordinated. I didn't have that much balance, but neither did anybody because... We are all in that awkward stage, but then everybody started to grow out of it, and I did it. And then this is the part that's going to sound really familiar. When I was in seventh grade, we went on a school trip to Washington, D.C. If you've ever been to D.C., it's a lot of walking. You have to walk literally everywhere. Well, I noticed I couldn't keep up with my friends. I was tripping, falling. I was just really struggling. At the end of the day, I was starting to experience pain. Like a lot of pain in my legs and in my feet and I didn't know why. I mean, everybody's feet kind of hurt because we had walked like a mile a day or more. But still, I had this excruciating pain. But when I got home from DC, my parents took me to a doctor. And we just went to a doctor with the intentions of getting physical therapy and getting some help with walking and balancing and all that kind of stuff. The doctor said, there's something else going on here. I'm not sure what it is but I'm gonna send you to a neurologist. So we went to a neurologist and he sent us to get an MRI. And then we got it back and it was clear. At this point, the neurologist was like, I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna send you to a pediatric neurologist. So then we went to this pediatric neurologist. We went in for one visit and he, 
luckily has seen F.A. before and he said to us almost immediately, I'm pretty positive I know what this is. So I'm gonna send you in to get blood worked. I'll call you as soon as I get the results. Two weeks later, we got the call from that doctor. We went back in and he said, you have Friedrich's ataxia. Because nobody knew what it was in my family. It really, really hit me hard. For a while, I denied it. I hid from it. I, even during the time when I was going to the doctor and stuff, none of my friends knew. Nobody knew except my family. And even once I was diagnosed, it took me months to tell anybody. I acted like it wasn't there. And then it got to a point where I had to start noticing it. Um, I had to pay attention to it because it started to affect me. So right now, um, to update you a little bit on the progression, because if you don't know, FA is a progressive disorder, meaning that it just gets worse and worse and worse over time, which was really hard for me to grasp because they're like, it has no cure, so you're definitely not going to get better, but in fact, you're going to get worse. So that took a really long time for me to grasp and deal with. Now, I am two years into my diagnosis and already I can see a lot of changes. I've been through a lot of changes. Even last year, I've just seen a lot of changes. And that's really hard to grasp at first. I cannot run. If I was put in a situation where I had to run, I could not do it. And that is, it's probably really hard to understand for anybody else. But I physically cannot move my legs to run. I can't really walk a lot without assistance. So I use a walker a lot. I talked about all of the equipment I used in a past video. And I use people. I have to hold onto their arms and rely on them to be what I am unable to be. So that's been a really hard thing that I've had to learn how to do um, is accept help from people. Accepting people's help yeah, that's is hard. something that she's had to learn the hard way. <laughs> Yeah, so. And obviously, I don't have very good coordination. My handwriting is absolutely terrible. It's always been bad, but it just keeps getting worse and worse. So yeah, that kind of gives you the gist of what I've dealt with, what I have, what I go through. So thank you guys for watching and remember that there are links below where you can read about what FA is, how it affects me, um, a little bit more about my diagnosis. Make sure to follow all my social medias. Those links are down below and you can keep up with my FA journey. And please make sure to like and subscribe and leave me comments below if you have any ideas for future videos. I love to see those and I'm always listening, always looking for ideas. I will see you next time. Bye.